All right, let's jump into another deep dive. This time, uh, we're heading over to Ireland. Wonderful. We've got this Love Ireland newsletter from October 30th, 2024. And wow, just scrolling through it, there is some fun stuff in here. I know, right? <laughs> so much to uncover. Um, we've got ancient Celtic symbols, mm -hmm. personal stories of ancestral connections oh yeah and even a county that uh you might not have on your travel radar yet right but we're gonna put it there today let's do it so okay let's talk about these symbols first okay they're everywhere right mm -hmm. like what's the deal with these celtic symbols well it really is amazing how they kind of just transcend time yeah they're not just relics of the past they're like woven into the fabric of modern ireland mm -hmm. today mm -hmm. i mean you see them everywhere and it's almost like they're this secret language whispering stories from centuries ago. Oh, I like that. A secret language. Okay, so tell me more about these Celts then. I know they were in Ireland way back when, but what makes their symbols so special? Well, imagine the symbols as kind of like visual keys to understanding the Celts' beliefs and their worldview. Okay. Um, you know, they revered nature, so you would find intricate knots um, symbolizing the interconnectedness of all life. Oh, wow. Or these powerful tree symbols representing strength and wisdom. I see. Each one kind of offers like a glimpse into how they saw the world and their place within it. It's fascinating to think that these symbols are still so relevant today. Like they hold a piece of the Irish soul or something like that. Yeah. But our newsletter also highlights this really personal story from a reader about discovering her roots in a specific county. Mm. Um, you know, have you ever felt drawn to a place, even if you've never been there before? Absolutely. And uh, Marcia's story in this newsletter is a perfect example of that. Yes. Imagine finding out that your great grandfather was from County Longford. Yeah. A place that you might never have heard of. Yeah. And then feeling this pull to stand on the very land where your ancestors walked. And she actually did it. Like yeah. Marcia found this graveyard filled with headstones bearing her family name. And she even said that she felt this overwhelming sense of peace when she was there. Wow. Like she was meant to be there. She even saw a medium. Oh, wow. Who confirmed that she was in the right place. Oh, that's amazing. Isn't that amazing? It gives me chills just thinking about it. You know, it just makes me think about how powerful a sense of place can be. Mm -hmm. Even if we haven't experienced a location firsthand these ancestral connections can just draw us in and make us feel like we belong. Yeah. And, you know, it makes County Longford suddenly feel very real. Yeah. And very inviting. Oh, for sure. Now, I'm curious, what can you tell me about County Longford? Um, the newsletter mentioned it has this interesting nickname, the County of the Slashers. Uh -huh. Sounds a bit intense. Well, what is that all about? Well, it's not about some, you know, dark history or anything. It actually <laughs> comes from their Gaelic Athletic Association Club, the Longford Slashers. Uh -huh. And, uh, you know, the GAA plays a really vital role in Irish society, mm -hmm. fostering the strong sense of community mm -hmm. and national pride. And, you know, it's got deep roots in the struggle for independence. Wow. So it's more than just like a sports organization. So wait, are you saying that the sports team is named after some, like, warrior from centuries ago? Yeah, so... The name is actually a tribute to Miles the Slasher O'Reilly, a 17th century uh, warrior wow. known for his fierce fighting skills. Yeah. And now his legacy kind of lives on, yeah. not just in history books, but on, you know, the jerseys and yeah. in the cheers of the Longford Slashers fans. That is so cool. It's fascinating how a nickname can reflect such a rich history. Yeah, this county Longford is full of surprises. I'm already picturing myself like exploring those rolling hills and stumbling upon ancient Celtic symbols. Yeah. I mean, the newsletter mentioned that Longford is known for its history and natural beauty, hmm. but it didn't really go into specifics what kind of treasures might we find there. Well, that's part of the allure, isn't it? It invites us to do a little digging of our own. Yeah. Um, you know, maybe there are crumbling castles, whispering tales of ancient battles, or serene lakes reflecting the ever-changing Irish sky. Oh, I love that. Maybe even rolling hills dotted with those Celtic symbols we were talking about. So it's like a treasure hunt waiting for us to uncover its secrets. <laughs> exactly. Speaking of Irish culture, yeah. did you see that part in the newsletter about the Irish rover? song yes it talks about you know the dubliners oh. and the pogues these two bands that just scream irish music <laughs> they do it reminds me of how music is just such an integral part of irish culture you know yeah. weaving tales of hardship resilience and joy into yeah. every note okay i'm adding that to my playlist asap but there was one more thing that caught my eye oh uh, yeah the newsletter mentioned that the northern lights 
wow. have been spotted in Ireland recently. Really? That is incredible. I never knew you could see the Northern Lights in Ireland. It is pretty amazing, right? Yeah. And, you know, it ties back to something we've been talking about all along, mm -hmm. the unexpected discoveries that travel can bring. Yeah. You might go to Ireland expecting rolling green hills and charming pubs, which you'll certainly find. Yeah. But you might also find yourself gazing up at the Northern Lights, feeling like you've stumbled into a magical dream. Okay, now I'm officially adding Chase the Northern Lights to my Ireland itinerary. <laughs> this is why I love these deep dives. Uh -huh. We start with a simple newsletter, and before you know it, we're planning an epic adventure fueled by Celtic symbols, warrior nicknames, and the promise of celestial wonders. I love it. It feels like we've only just scratched the surface. Shall we dive even deeper? Absolutely. There's so much more to uncover. I'm uh, I'm eager to explore the deeper meaning behind those Celtic symbols and see what other secrets County Longford holds. Me too. So welcome back to our Irish adventure. You know, I'm still thinking about those Celtic symbols and how they're like a visual language. Yeah. Telling stories about the people who created them. And the land that they called home. You know, I was thinking about that too. So if these symbols are everywhere in Ireland, what can we actually learn from them? Hmm. Like what kind of stories and beliefs do they reveal? Well, remember how we talked about the Celts' reverence for nature? Yeah. You might find symbols like the Triketra, which represents the interconnectedness of mind, body, and spirit. Okay. Or the Cledo Ring, symbolizing love, loyalty, and friendship. Values that are still very much a part of Irish culture today. Yeah. It's like those symbols are a bridge between the past and present. Right. Reminding us of the, you know, enduring values that shape a culture. But it feels like we're missing some pieces of the puzzle. Uh-huh. Like without knowing the specifics of each symbol, how can we truly understand them? Well, that's where the fun begins. Okay, tell me. It becomes a journey of discovery, like a symbolic scavenger hunt. Ooh. Imagine strolling through a quaint Irish village and then spotting a Celtic cross etched into an ancient stone. What stories does it hold? Yeah. What message were the creators trying to convey? Yeah, I can see it now. Each swirl, each knot, each animal motif okay. becomes a clue leading us deeper into the heart of Irish culture. Exactly. It's like those symbols are whispering secrets waiting for us to unlock their hidden meanings. And it transforms sightseeing into something much more meaningful, yeah. you know? Yeah. It's not just about taking pretty pictures. It's about connecting with the soul of a place, mm -hmm. understanding its history, right. and appreciating the artistry and symbolism woven into its landscape. So it's like those symbols are gateways to a deeper understanding of Ireland and maybe even ourselves. Speaking of County Longford, the newsletter mentioned it's known for its history and natural beauty, but didn't really go into specifics. So mm. what kind of historical treasures and natural wonders might we encounter there? Well, that's the beauty of it. It's an invitation to explore and discover for yourself. Ooh, I like that. Imagine stumbling upon the ruins of a 12th century abbey, its weathered stones still whispering tales of monks and medieval life, or perhaps hiking through a lush forest, Okay. sunlight dappling through the leaves, and suddenly coming across a hidden waterfall cascading down moss-covered rocks. It's like stepping into a fairy tale where every turn reveals a new enchantment. Right. And it makes me realize that travel isn't just about checking off destinations on a list. Mm -hmm. It's about embracing the unknown. Yeah. Letting curiosity lead the way right. and yeah. being open to the stories that a place has to tell. And who knows, maybe we'll even spot some of those Celtic symbols hidden in the landscape of County Longford. Precisely. And, you know, Longford offers that sense of discovery without being overrun with tourist traps. Right. It's a place to really immerse yourself in the local culture, mm -hmm. savor the peacefulness of nature, yeah. and perhaps even feel that ancestral pull that Marcia described. It sounds like the perfect blend of history, natural beauty, and cultural immersion. You mentioned earlier how music is such a big part of Irish culture, and the newsletter touched on that Irish Rover song mm. and mentioned the Dubliners and the Pogues, and it got me thinking, what other like hidden cultural gems might we uncover in Longford? Ooh. Like what local traditions, crafts, or culinary delights are waiting to be savored? Well, it's an invitation to go beyond the guidebooks and really experience the true heart of Ireland. Yeah. Imagine wandering through a bustling market filled with the aroma of freshly baked soda bread. Oh, my God. And the vibrant colors of hand-woven woolens. 
or perhaps stumbling upon a traditional music session in a cozy pub oh. where locals gather to share stories and laughter and the soul-stirring melodies of their heritage. Okay, now I'm craving a hearty bowl of Irish stew and a pint of Guinness while listening to some, you know, <laughs> foot-tapping tunes. <laughs> It's amazing how this simple newsletter has sparked such a desire to experience Ireland firsthand. Yeah, it reminds us that sometimes the greatest journeys begin with a single spark of inspiration. Mm -hmm. And while we've uncovered some fascinating details about County Longford and the enduring power of Celtic symbols, I have a feeling there's still much more to explore. Oh, I agree. And speaking of exploring, what do you say we take a little break and come back for the final part of our Irish adventure? Sounds good to me. I'm ready to discover even more layers of Irish charm and see where this journey takes us. We're back and ready to wrap up our Irish deep dive. We've explored ancient symbols, unearthed hidden gems in County Longford, and even dreamt of chasing the Northern Lights. It's been quite a journey. And, you know, all this talk about Longford and those ancestral connections mm -hmm. has me thinking about the power of place. Mm -hmm. You know, remember Marcia's story? and how drawn she was to her great-grandfather's county. Yeah. It's like she felt this pull toward a place she'd never even been. Right. A connection that went beyond logic or reason. Exactly. And it makes you wonder, what are the places that hold that kind of power for us? What landscapes resonate deep within us, calling us to explore their stories and secrets? It's like there are these invisible threads connecting us to certain places, mm -hmm. whether it's through our ancestry, our personal experiences, or simply just a feeling of belonging. It makes me want to delve into my own family history, trace those ancestral footsteps, and see where they lead me. That's the beauty of it. It becomes a journey of self-discovery, a way of understanding not just where we come from, yeah. but also who we are. And sometimes those journeys lead us to unexpected places, revealing hidden layers of ourselves we never knew existed. It's like we're all part of this larger story, a tapestry woven with threads of history, culture, and personal connection. And travel allows us to explore those threads to see how they intertwine and create this rich fabric of our lives. Beautifully put. And as we wrap up our deep dive into Irish culture, I'm left with this sense of wonder and inspiration. We started with a simple newsletter. Yeah. And it's opened our eyes to a world of possibilities, from the enduring power of ancient symbols to the heartwarming stories of ancestral connection yeah. and the unexpected beauty of a county we might never have considered before. It's a reminder that exploration isn't just about ticking off destinations on a list. It's about embracing the unknown, following our curiosity, and allowing ourselves to be surprised and delighted by the world around us. And who knows, maybe this conversation has sparked a desire in you to embark on your own Irish adventure, mm -hmm. to wander through the rolling hills of County Longford, to trace the footsteps of your ancestors, or simply to soak up the warmth and charm of Irish culture. Wherever your travels take you, remember to keep an open mind, yeah. a curious heart, and a willingness to connect with the stories that shape the places and people you encounter. Until next time, fellow explorers, keep seeking, keep discovering, and keep diving deep into the heart of what makes our world so fascinating. Klan go foil. <laughs>